In Star Sector, there's no faction more notorious, more violent, and more radical than the Ludic Path. And today we're going to be joining their ranks and participating in their holy jihad against AI, technology, and all those humans who would wield it. Now starting out as the Ludic Path is quite a challenge. They even say that it's hard, but that's okay because us jihadis, we don't really play by the rules and we have a little bit of an ace up our sleeves. Let me introduce you to the IED. The Ludic Path has basically taken fuel containing ships and turned them into giant explosives. They're pretty much raw sexual energy in phallic spacefaring form. And with these IEDs being full of antimatter fuel, well, they're basically guaranteed to melt through steel beams. Or, uh, steel ship hulls. Our hero for today's epic conquest is going to be none other than the most notorious spacefaring jihadist, Osama bin Laden. So with our hero ready to go, let's grab our fleet and bask in the luscious light of Lud. Now one of the first things we need to do is to set ourselves up with a much bigger fleet. I have added quite a few mods to this to kind of enhance the Ludic Path and uh, adds in a few other factions as well here. Added so many mods I don't even know what half of them are anymore. As long as we have a bunch of explosive torpedoes and we can get our hands on some IEDs, well, I think we're just going to be all right. After getting our fleet, we're going to want to increase our rep with the Ludic Path. Currently, we're friendly, but we need to boost that up a little more if we want to buy those beautiful big Prometheus-style military IED ships. But as you can see, every single other person basically hates us. We have the pirates, the Ludic Church, and uh, these guys. I don't even know who these guys are. Mayasura. But we're going to have one heck of a time trying to uh, go about the sector and get anything done. We have limited funds, limited fuel and supplies, limited crew, limited everything pretty much. We're going to have to make the best of this sticky situation. Now what's one way that terrorist cells always fund and organize themselves around? By selling copious amounts of recreational drugs, of course. Now it is frowned upon and illegal for the uh, Ludic Path members to use drugs themselves. But, you know, there's nothing saying in the scriptures that we can't, uh, you know, go dope up some of these darn infidels. Get them hooked on the good sauce, you know what I'm saying? And look at there, I think we found our first buyer. Pirate scum. So we'll just take a big uh, junk of space drugs. We don't really need these blueprints. We'll go sell those bad boys. And I think we're looking pretty to begin. Oh, would you look at this? I don't know if I can pass this up. Expanded missile racks on a mod spec right here. I think, ah... Uh, we don't have much cash, but I think we got to kind of buy that. Okay, well, with that out of the way, let's go run some drugs. Oh, we're getting tailed by the uh, the Parsian League, but all we got to do is just drop these space drugs really quick and we can get the stink out of here. With a good little stack of cash, if I do say so myself. Another good way that the uh, jihadis of the modern era can make a little bit of extra cash is by selling weapons. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Get a big old haul of these weapons here. Oh, I got too many. There we go. Now this one's going to be a little bit more of a challenge. We're going to be doing a good, uh, a fair bit of smuggling before we can really get anything going. But after this run, I think we can start working on our fleet. We just got to, we just got to make it out in time or make it out alive. Oh, okay, God, we're being chased. The life of the most wanted person in the galaxy sure can be a tough one. All right, we're going to be uh, sneaky about this here. Come on down to the gravity well and transverse jump in. Right on top of Umbra. Oh yeah, baby, look at that. You can't ask for better. And go ahead and sell our weapons for a giant stack of dosh, baby. Mm, 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 mm. Absolutely love it. <laughs> this ship's called the ass. <laughs> I like that, I like that a lot. And now our protagonist, the great Osama bin Laden, sets forth to build his funds and fleet of righteousness to spread the gospel of Lud throughout the cosmos. Uh oh, here we go, boys. We got kind of uh, cut off and, and attacked here, but that's all right. We're gonna, we're just gonna do a full retreat, full stinking retreat here. Oh, come on, come on, come on! We got out of there. Phew! We're not quite ready yet. A good jihadist knows when to retreat. Oh, we did lose a ship though. Son of a gun. With all these drugs we've been trading, we should change our name to Osama Bin Holden. Eh? Huh? Eh? Huh? So like any good YouTuber, I did a little bit of off-camera mining, eh? Huh? 
Now that I had a pretty substantial and sizable fleet, it was finally time to begin phase two. And that would be increasing our reputation with the Ludic Path, and probably also a little splash over to the Ludic Church. Now getting rep in Star Sector can be kind of a pain in the buns, especially when there's no missions that you can possibly get to even boost your rep up. Maybe we should try updating old Osama bin Laden's Tinder bio, try and get a match with Lud, find hopefully hot, fully covered ladies in your area. And speaking of hard, the life of being a Ludic Pather is just that, to say the least. I mean, look at this, look at this scenario I ran into. I had to use so many story points just to save my own neck, keep the game going. I don't, I don't understand why people don't like us. I is because we infiltrate their home worlds and attempt to disrupt their way of life. I is just a little jihad. Come on, get over it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody hates the Ludic Path. Also, I think it's time we buy our first IED. It might just be a little guy, but it's not necessarily the size of the tanker. It's the motion of the explosion, baby. Would you look at that improvised explosive ship, baby? God, my cock is hard with the light of lead. Just throbbing and coursing through its veins just looking at this. And like I said, this is just a little guy. Just you wait till we get the big boys. I thought the easiest way to do it would be go to a system that is predominantly the faction I like, where, you know, they're at war with somebody. Like, oh, mercy. Lud have mercy. And just kind of bully the HMI with three pather worlds around it. Hopefully we can pick up a few, uh, you know, ravaged ships along the way. Oh, you know, I, I, don't, I don't think the HMI really have that good of ships. So, uh... Yeah, I don't want to fight him near the station, though. We'll see what we can get our hands on, though. Let's get this guy. Oh, he's a tricky little minx. We got him. Yes! Hammer time, baby! Face the holy light of Lud. Oh, yeah, baby. And just when I thought this getting rep thing was going to take forever, I was reminded that uh, our mod here gives us high-valued prisoners that we can exchange to another faction station to improve our faction's relationship with them or ransom them for cash. But I think we're good on cash, so we'll uh, we'll take some of that juicy stinking rep, baby. Mm. Look at that, two rep on each. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be slow going. Oy, 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 oy. When the light of blood shines out into the dark expanse of space, it brings unto it more sheep, more for the shepherd to cull eventually when they strap a bunch of explosives to themselves and, you know, wander into the middle of a f f f carrier fight group or something and just explode them. So anyway, what I'm saying is it's time to expand our cult or er, a uh, religious group meeting. Jihadi adjacent personnel with this guy. He's reckless. And I like that. I especially like missile spec. Mm. And reputation boost by four. Ooh, daddy. Those ain't too dang bad for prisoners. We gotta get some more prisoners, I think. I think that sounds real stinking nice, yeah. Oh, and let's put our reckless officer in... Na, 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 na. Something. Something where he can really be reckless. Well, this thing's basically nothing but missiles. Yeah, what the heck. Get in there, you scamp. Welcome to the Jihad. As our fleet's been significantly growing... We also find out that the uh, the Ludic Path, they have quite a few D mods here. But old Osama bin Laden ain't no fool. He's got 300 IQ, baby. That's why he went right into derelict operations. Which I think is, this is like the perfect stinking mod for a, you know, terrorist organization that has ships that are basically put together with duct tape. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Osama, you genius, you. One thing we're drastically missing now, though, is uh, a few larger IEDs. And I haven't even gotten to use of this little guy just yet. Which I really stinkin' wanna. Maybe we'll go try that on a couple of Jive Turk. I mean, heathenous infidels. Oh, boys, look at this. We got a Ludic Church Grand Invasion Fleet. And here it is. Oh, hot mama. We might just stand by, let them do some battle, and see if we can't, uh... See if we can't pick up on the scraps of these little guys right here. Yeah. I think we'll do just that. Yeah, buddy. Here we go. Me and you, babe. Me and you. Give me your ships. Give me your stinking ships, see? We're just gonna totally turn into rats right here and just take all of their scrap. Mmm, look at all those Ludic Path onslaughts and legions and oh, no, I think they're missing some IEDs. All right, you know what? Let's, uh, let's help our boys out here. Why the heck not? Oh, God, I can't deploy, like, anything. <laughs> 
Yeah, hey, well, let's see, uh, let's see what we can do here. All by ourselves. Oh, Bubba, I want one of those so bad. I don't think this is gonna go very well. Oh my god, I think we're actually winning. It only cost us everything. But oh my god, we won! I died though. Oh god, held it, held in reserve. You, you held these in reserve, you son of a bitch. Three onslaughts and one lead. You held those in reserve. You have. Mm. I did all the heavy lifting right there. I did all the heavy. Li Fucking AI. Better give me one of these onslaughts. What's this? That looks kind of cool. Oh, that's mine. All right, let's get all our ships back. Uh. <gasps> that's. Oh, these are mine too. Jesus Christ. Good for nothing. All right, well, they're starting the invasion. Start the invasion. Start the invasion. It's right there. We already beat it. Yeah, I in this game, I swear. God, would you just invade already? They took this station, baby. Hell yeah. I really didn't get any rep for that. Ah. After a long and arduous journey, I had finally done it. I gathered a mighty and righteous fleet of holy light of blood with a uh, fair number of beautiful, big old phallic explodey boys. I haven't actually used one of these yet. I'm really stinking excited. But I did find out that getting rep was uh, ridiculously difficult, especially to get the ships from the Ludic Church. I did end up cheesing it a little bit to, uh, you know, drop in my path or commission, get an Ludic Church commission, and then swapping right back over. Ah, a little cheesy. But you know what? There is no price too great for a successful jihad. Now you may be wondering, what's the end game of all this? What is our righteous and holy jihad all about? Well, we don't like AI, and we don't like technology. And there's one faction that really comes to mind when you're thinking of evil, hostile AIs. The Tritachion Corporation. That's right. And over here in the old Hybrasil star system, there's a couple of twin tower, or uh, twin planets that I think would do really great for us to haphazardly fly our own men into it, breakneck speeds to explode into them. Old Kulan and uh, Iyaku. Br breeze. 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 Bree. Anyway. Yep, those are our targets. Those are where we're trying to get to. And um, I think uh, now I'm not very good at the modding. I've never really done mods before, but I think we can request a old fleety boy, an invasion fleety boy. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Actually, can we do another one? Let's do another one. I guess I can only do one. All right, cool. We got an invasion fleet going. Um, Nice, dude. Now's the time for old Osama bin Laden to come out of the shadows and into the light. The l glorious light of blood. All right, well, I guess all that's left to do is to, uh, shoot, go over there and, um, wait it out. Let's, let's go get ready, boys. Heck yeah. The time is finally nigh. Now, the great Sun Tzu said there are five ways of attacking with fire. The first is to burn soldiers in their camp. The second, to burn stores. The third is to burn baggage trains. The fourth is to burn arsenals and magazines. The fifth is to hurl dropping fire amongst the enemy. By blood, I choose the fifth. Oh, we might be able to take Yaku Breeze without, um, without our fleety boys present. That's it, engage the transponder. Let them know what the score is. Gotta get those little guys away and, yeah, let's, uh, let's try it. Engage the star fortress. Here we go, boys. This is what it's all come down to. Ready the IEDs. Holy smokes. We gotta get our big boys up there. Big boys up there now. Okay. Okay, we've started engaging the battle station. Let's um let's send in the old IED. Get these boys in the back there. Send in the IED. Oh damn, that didn't go well. That did not go well. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes, boys. Get it. Get in there. Do your job. Yes, the, the light of blood. Oh, it compels you. Oh, yeah, girl. Oh. Be cleansed in the holy fires of blood. Yes. <laughs> that was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And there we have it. A victory for the righteous. Oh, we could even recover our uh, IED. That's cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, why the heck not? Let's do it, dude. Yeah, we're recovering the IED. There it is, our target. 
Not enough forces to achieve. Son of a gun. I didn't bring enough Marines. Well, what's, what's the next best thing? Space drugs? I mean, I guess space drugs? Space drugs are always cool. Ship equipment. Oh, beta. We can get a beta core. There we go. Yeah. You know, it's like a runner-up prize, I, I guess. And yeah, we'll, we'll get some space drugs. There we go. Launch the raid. And there it is. The evil beta core. Exactly what we raid against. Hey, look at We did get an alpha core. When did I get an alpha core? Huh. I'm gonna say we got it now. I don't I don't know. That when did I get an alpha I don't know. And a tech locator and space trucks. And a beautiful orbital bombardment. Oh yes. The glorious hellfires. Or lud fires. Beautiful. There we go. Base down, baby. One base down. Two days until arrival. Here we go, boys. The time is nigh. They're in the system. Okay, let's move. Oh, look at that beautiful fleet of righteousness. Look at those IEDs, baby. I'm gonna say, follow me. Are they not following? I don't think it's working. Maybe because it's an invasion fleet. Ah, well, that's okay. We'll uh, we'll just kind of cruise around them. Oh yeah, the boys are all here. Glorious light of lead, let's go. With our duct tape together ships. But you know what? When you're an insurgent, you don't really have, uh, you know, the facilities to keep and maintain a well-modernized fleet, you know? Unless, of course, the he hegemony try and pull out of an area and completely fumble the military operation, leaving behind billions and quadrillions of credits worth of ships and gear and stuff, which then, you know, we just, uh, we just take for ourselves. If only that could happen. Huh. I think we should change our name to from the Ludic Path to ISIL, the Intergalactic Spacefaring Insurgents of Lud. I kind of like that. It's got a nice ring to it. There's never been another ISIL before. Oh, come on, get out of there, boy. There you are. There's our big boy. Our allies are completely worthless. The AI basically sucks. Oh, no, he's getting swarmed. Let's go, boys. Help him out. Help him out. Oh, I shouldn't be leading the charge. I, uh... Help me. Help me. Ah, I got exploded. That's all right. I'll just take over this big boy. Okay, well, there's a victory. Give me my ship back. Oh, we can get an ass... Oh, we don't want that high-tech... Uh... Sin, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we don't, we don't want any of that. No, 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 no. Oh, we could get another IED, though. I'm um, over my ships. One eternity later. So we're going for the bacon. Screw that fleet. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's just kind of sitting there chilling, doing fudge all. All right, here we go. For all the stinking marbles. Now on this one, why don't we just send in all of our IEDs? Oh, I think that'd be absolutely beautiful and stunning. Stunning and brave. Hmm, stunning and brave. We fly those ships into the tower itself, the righteous station that can shoot a bajillion freaking miles, apparently. Jeez, look at him. Look at our enemy. Bastard. Ah, he shoot me. Ah. Okay, let's deploy. Ah, oh, I can't deploy them all. That's okay. We'll deploy what we can. And we'll send them up the middle. I lost an ID ship already. Son of a bitch. There we go. We got to cover them. Cover their, uh, you know, entrance, whatever. Their egress kind of thing. God dang it, we lost another ID ship. That's it. We gotta, we gotta get in there. Full assault. Nope, actually, kill order. There we go. Kill order. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Get up there. Move it. Move it. Ah, no points available. Summon a gun. All right, I gotta, gotta chill out for a minute. Oh, no, my sh sweet, beautiful ships. Come on, fly into the tower, dang it. God, we're getting chewed apart. Can you guys go, please? Just gonna sit here and hide behind this carcass. Deploy all IED ships. Attack. Attack. Get in there. There they go, they're moving up, they're moving up. Here he comes, baby. Behold the will of Lud. No, don't, no, son of a bitch. Oh, you fucker. Okay, I got two more. I got two more chances. It's okay. That's fine. I got two more. There we go. This is it. We got a cover for our boy. Get in there. Get in there. 
I will sacrifice myself for you. Go, 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 go for Lud. Do it for Lud. Get in there, damn it. Yes. No. I blew it up, son of a fuck. And just like that, our jihadi dreams were over. But in the long run, I think we might have sent a very successful message to try Tachyon and their allies, their evil AI overlords, that no matter how advanced they get, how safe they may feel, blood is always waiting in the darkness to shine a light upon their sin. And I mean, it's the lifelong dream and goal of a good jihadi to, uh, you know, go out doing what you love, things you care about. I mean, phew, what a way to go. Eternal battle for the soul of mankind. You just can't beat it, baby. You just can't stink and beat it. Now's a good time to tell you about our sponsor, Southwest Airlines. You know you'll fly safely when you fly Southwest. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Maybe that's a bad joke. Fly with the Luddick Path. Anywho, that'll just about wrap it up for us here today. I hope you cats enjoyed your time with me taking on the righteous quest of destroying AI. And uh, Tritachion, of course. They're kind of synonymous with one another. So if you enjoyed the video, please slap a like down below, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought, and subscribe to Papa Cheddar Gaming. I'll catch you cats on the flippity flop. And as always, just remember, Lud is good, Lud is great, Lud doesn't care if you masturbate. <laughs>